You can find them on doorknobs, elevator buttons, kitchen sinks, and car seats. They're on nearly everything we touch and travel in the air we breathe. They're germs. From fall until spring, nearly half the year, germs and viruses spread like wildfire. Any place when you're in close proximity. Infecting tens of thousands of people through the cold, dry winter months, and finally fizzle out in the spring. Welcome to this special edition of Primetime 5. In this next half hour, we're going to discover just how germs spread and what you can do to protect yourself and your family at school, at work, and at home. Contrary to popular belief, cold weather or being out in the cold doesn't cause us to contract a cold or flu. More illnesses occur during the cooler seasons because of three key factors, schools in session, mass gatherings, and lower humidity. We'll break all those down in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the most common respiratory illnesses of the season. A cold and the flu. Colds usually come on gradually. They last about a week or two. Symptoms include a stuffy or runny nose, sneezing, coughing, scratchy throat, and watery eyes. Flu symptoms, now they come on quite suddenly and they're more serious and last much longer than a typical cold would. Symptoms include fever, headache, chills, dry cough, body aches, and fatigue. Each one of these illnesses can last for weeks, not only making you feel miserable, but can also cause us to miss out on school or work, which is why protecting yourself and your family is so important. Let's start with the workplace. We've all done it. We've gone to work when we're sick. We're not doing our coworkers any favors by exposing them to whatever we might have. Lori Pritchard shows us just how rapidly a virus can spread. All it takes is one sick employee touching a doorknob, an elevator button, the copy machine. Hands spread bacteria and germs and viruses. And with only a few hours, a virus could be infecting more than half the workforce. Touching, coughing and sneezing they really can go a long way in spreading infection. Researchers at the University of Arizona planted a harmless virus in three different settings, a healthcare facility, an office, and a conference room. That virus showed up on 40 to 60 percent of employees within two to four hours and was found on services in a break room, phones, and computers. The study also showed when people used hand sanitizers and disinfected their workspace, transmission rates dropped dramatically. If you're constantly coughing and sneezing, you, you know, you want to try to keep your workspace as clean as possible. In fact, good hand hygiene has been shown to be one of the most critical ways to stop the spread of germs and viruses. And all the effort may be ineffective if not done correctly. 20 seconds of vigorous rubbing, and it doesn't really have to be the warm or the cold water, it's the rubbing and the soap that's going to get those germs off of your hand. You can sing, you know, the happy birthday song through twice at a normal tempo. <laughs> and with five to 20% of the U.S. population affected by the potentially deadly flu virus each year. We always encourage people, if they can, to stay home, whether it's from work or school. If you can get the rest that you need and try to take care of yourself, that can certainly go into helping you recover faster. Now, one other tip when it comes to hand sanitizer, make sure you have an alcohol, alcohol concentrate of 60% or more. The biggest mistake people make is not using enough and then not allowing it to dry. On-site clinics have been popping up all across the U.S., from having a nurse practitioner on hand to a physician with a full staff. More and more large companies are discovering the benefits behind an on-site clinic. It's an easy access for quality of care and uh, to help them stay on top of being healthy. I think an employer who's successful in operating an on-site clinic has to establish a culture of wellness and healing. And I think that's what U.S. Synthetic has done extremely well. U.S. Synthetic manufactures industrial diamonds for the energy industry and for drilling. Once we decided to move forward, we contacted Intermountain Healthcare. And the healthcare center offers a full family practice environment. It's been open two years. It's not just for the employees, but all the family. I've worked with U.S. Synthetic for eight years. It's a very family-oriented company. Uh, How are you guys doing today? Good. Having an on-site doctor helps promote that. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Usually I can call that day, and they'll have an appointment that I can get in that day. 
Good job. You come here all the time, so they, they know who you are and they care about you. And all right, we're gonna put this on your finger. Flu shots, sick kids, anywhere from just getting hurt to stitches. Significantly cheaper than going to another healthcare provider. It's gotten the organization to really identify the importance of healthy people. And providing these services here, we see people's lives change. It seems like people are a lot more proactive than reactive. and People are, are the most important assets that any business has. And we ought, we ought to do all we can to help our people. And this is one way we do that. Coming up, first grade students get a lesson on sharing. What parents can do to best protect kids from germs at school. And what's lurking in our homes might surprise you. The hidden and unexpected places germs are hiding. Always a good idea to start teaching your kids about germs. Brooke Walker tells us about a school where teaching kids about good hygiene is one of their top priorities. Raise your hand if you've ever been sick. Oh. Students at Howard R. Driggs Elementary are learning a very valuable lesson about sharing. Do you think we have germs hiding in yes. our classroom? Yes. Who's ready to be a germ detective? We're going to see if we can find any germs hiding in our classroom. In a school setting, we share everything, mostly germs. <laughs> can you see why it's so important to keep our hands clean? It's hard to see germs, isn't it? It's hard to see them, but they're there. And that's what makes us sick sometimes, right? A lesson Mrs. Bayer has been teaching since 1985. Here at Howard R. Driggs, we are a community that cares about our children. For the students to be able to learn effectively, they need to be healthy. Who thinks they know what we do when we cough or we sneeze? <coughs> so I have to make sure that my mouth and my nose are covered by my arm or my sleeve, right? Just like with everything that we learn in school, repetition is the best way, right? They are the life skills this teacher hopes these kids will take home to their families. Taking care of ourselves, and if we do that, then we also help take care of others, and it, it truly does make a difference. For your life, your health, I'm Brooke Walker, KSL 5 News. We also learned on our visits that parents should be cleaning their children's lunch boxes periodically, as well as coats and hats. That can reduce the amount of germs that are being passed around at school as those coats are hung tightly together on their coat racks. We've talked about the workplace and school. What about germs in our homes? Once someone at home gets sick, it's only a matter of time before everyone catches some form of the virus. With the Christmas countdown nearly coming to an end, Debbie Dejanovic tells us how crowds of people coming together increase the potential of germs spreading. People are going to be traveling in airplanes and they're going to be gathering in homes. And so people are going to be bringing their viruses with them. So what do you do? Well, make sure to clean surfaces around your home on a regular basis. Wash your hands thoroughly each time you return home to kill whatever germs you may have picked up along the way. And remember, germs can live and grow in the most unlikely of places. Light switches, any kind of handles, your handles on your sink faucets in your kitchen, refrigerator doors, cabinet doors, toys that children play with. Some of the dirtiest things in your home that may come as a shock, hmm? researchers found the soap scum on vinyl shower curtains can play host to a number of germs that can cause infections. Just using, you know, a combination of water and bleach works very well on disinfecting. It may seem like a good idea to share towels, but according to health experts, it's one big no-no. It's a good idea to replace hand towels frequently. Your cell phone comes in contact with a number of things throughout the day, too. Researchers found that one in six phones may be contaminated with fecal matter. To keep your phone as germ-free as possible, wipe down its surface every day or so, carefully following the directions from the manufacturer, of course. To avoid getting sick from your pets, always wash your hands after cleaning up after them. 
When it comes down to it, the best way to protect your home is by washing your hands frequently and disinfecting on a regular basis. For your life, your health, I'm Deputy Janovic. I'm going to go wash immediately after this show. After the break, though, we are headed to the kitchen to make hearty tomato soup that's guaranteed to give your immune system a boost. healthy is the best way to keep your immune system at its best, but there are some foods that pack that extra punch. Janelle is here from Harmon's to help us know what those foods are. I hope one of them is this uh, soup that I'm smelling. It smells delicious. Yes, so this is a really easy soup. Um, we're making this because it is great for the immune system. We have, as you can see, we have some garlic and onions um, that we're going to put in here. Okay. Um, we're going to start with a little canola oil. Canola oil is wonderful because it has a nice balance of those omega-3s and omega-6s, and those are important for the immune system. Okay. Um, we're going to throw some garlic in here. Um, garlic actually is really wonderful for the digestive system. And onions, too? Um, garlic and onions, both, yes. Okay. Um, we're going to put some carrots in. We're going to get some nice vitamin A with that. Yep. And that also helps the immune system. Um, and then we're going to throw the garlic in. Sorry, I did that in backwards order, didn't That's I? okay. We, we, we can see it, so we know what you're talking about. <laughs> so basically, we're going to get this sautéing up here. Um, really simple. You want to sauté that for maybe around four minutes just so that the vegetables soften. And, it, and it'll end up like a delicious tomato basil soup. Exactly. So we're just going to throw our tomatoes in. You notice here that I'm using the no-salt added products. Okay. Um, you know, you don't want to put too much salt in your diet. Um, and that's something a lot of canned soups have a lot of. Exactly. So this will help you. And this is an extremely simple soup. So you're going to add your beans. What kind of beans are those? Um, these particular ones are great northern. Okay. You can use cannellini beans if you prefer. But they're going to have, be a very low salt soup. We have a bay leaf. We have some rosemary. It smells good. Um, and then you're going to add some stock. And we did an unsalted stock as well. And what we're going to do is add the salt at the end. As a dietitian, I want your food to taste good, but I also don't want to have, have you have more salt than you really need. Okay. So best to add that at the end where you can taste it and know exactly how much you want. Basically, you're going to let this simmer here for about a half hour. Okay. Now, so in the time we have less, let's talk about some of the other foods that we can mm -hmm. get that nutritional punch with. And let's start with breakfast. Excellent. So, you know, we're going to start here. Here are some um, foods that have a great, um, great things for your um, immune system. Love oatmeal. So oatmeal is going to be great for the digestive tract. There's new research showing that keeping that digestive tract healthy actually can help your immune system. Um, the tomatoes are going to have a great punch of vitamin A and vitamin C. Um, you have the almonds there. So if you look here, we have some nice whole grain bread. Whole grains are going to provide yep. minerals for your, that your immune system needs. Here's a great snack, clementines and almonds. Don't you just love that one? Yes, I love, and the, the, the clementines are so sweet. You just, you can't beat those. This is the perfect time of year to get them as well. Um, a banana and peanut butter. Kids love this. I love it too. Dippers. Um, mm -hmm. And it also gives you a lot of nutrients. Um, hummus with the veggies right in there. And look how pretty that is. It's, you can serve that before dinner. It is. And then we've got salmon and some mm -hmm. delicious greens. All right, this is encouraging because you can, you can eat healthy, you can really get the biggest bang for your buck here. And uh, all right, thank you, Janelle, we appreciate it. Thank you. Now, coming up. You can just pull out your phone and, and have an app handy and find what you need. Look up test results, schedule a doctor's appointment or refill prescriptions. Those are just a few of the innovative ways healthcare is changing at our fingertips. Coming up, we'll give you a virtual tour. told you there was an app that could hold your place in line at the doctor's office, look up symptoms, pay bills, and much more. 
Intermountain Healthcare has just the tool that makes managing your health care easy. The Health Hub is a free mobile app that has uh, 10 tools that help people manage their health care. It was in September that I got full access to my son's medical records and started using it regularly. Simon is nine years old. He's nonverbal, legally deaf and blind. It's really handy because it helps me advocate better for Simon. One of the most popular features is our Instacare function. And that allows you to see Instacares around you and it shows the wait time at each. And then you can even go into the Instacare of your choice and save your place in line. So when you get to the actual Instacare, more often than not, you can just go right in to see the caregiver. A couple of the other ones that are really popular are our germ watch tool. And that displays the germs that are most prevalent in areas throughout the state. So there's a map and you can see what germs are, are really active around you, find out what the signs and symptoms are, find out how it's trending. Are, are more and more cases occurring in Utah or is it trending downward? So My Health is our patient portal, so you can get lab results and other features like that. I think I feel a little more empowered to have access to those things. You can write a secure email to your doctor or, uh, or other caregiver and they'll respond to you in that secure environment. The better prepared I am going in there, the, the more we're going to get out of that appointment. First aid, that one you can search for signs and symptoms. The prescription refill tool is built for convenience. It, it enables users to refill their prescription right at their fingertips on their phone. Finding a doctor is another really popular tool. You can search for a doctor by a whole bunch of different filters. So you can do it by the language they speak, by the area that they practice in, by the insurance that they accept. A similar function is find a location. So that one you can find not only the Intermountain Healthcare hospitals, but you can also find clinics, pharmacies, work meds, Instacares, kids' cares. The pay bill function is another one of those super convenient ways uh, to help you manage your health care. You can log in to the pay bill function and pay your bill right online. Send wishes function allows you to send a message. Volunteers will print off your message on a nice looking card and they'll deliver it straight to the patient. There's no reason not to download Health Hub because it's totally free and it helps you manage your health. It just really helps me be a more prepared advocate for my son. The mission of Intermountain Healthcare is to help people live the healthiest lives possible. And this app definitely contributes to that. It's just a really valuable thing to have. That's interesting. And so is this next one. If you have plans to fly this holiday season, travelers going through Salt Lake City International Airport can now get a flu shot while waiting in the terminal. Intermountain Healthcare operates the small flu shot clinic right inside the airport. This seasonal walk-in facility provides shots for $25. It's located in between Terminal 2, between concourses C and D. So far this year, the Utah Health Department has reported nearly 200 hospitalizations attributed to the flu, and those numbers are rising. Holiday gatherings and travel in this next two weeks make it the highest time for infection. So remember, wash your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, and it's not too late to get a flu shot. Thanks for watching.